This is certainly not a rare or unusual countdown. Plenty of voices on the internet have cast their vote as to who they think is the most ruthless life taker, and we decided it was our time to cut in. Instead of ranking these hitmen and hit women by cool factor, we decided to focus on performance. Are we just told they're effective assassins, or do we actually see them in action multiple times, perfecting their trade? How much time do they spend outside missions, where the only acceptable outcome is a terminated subject? If we had a grudge and could pay the price, these are the cleaners we'd call. I don't want to die, man! Don't kill me! Number 10. Nina Williams. A lot of fighting game characters claim to be assassins and then come to a fight throwing punches like any other angry fighting game guy. But Tekken's Nina Williams brings her backstory to every match. She fights like how you would expect an assassin to fight. Tekken 3 even lists her fighting style as assassination techniques. Five times out of six, Nina isn't at the King of Iron Fist tournament for the grand prize. She's there for the kill. Number 9. Travis Touchdown Assassins are known for their ability to blend into their surroundings and strike without notice, but Travis Touchdown is anything but typical. Honestly, who becomes an assassin just to earn some more cash to buy more video games and possibly hook up with a random girl? Wielding a slick beam katana and sporting a stylish outfit, this otaku foregoes any semblance of subtlety or caution in favor of reckless abandon. Other than his odd nature, what sets him apart is rather than running for the hills when he becomes the target of an elite group of assassins, Travis decides to eliminate the competition to become the number one ranked assassin in the world. Talk about gutsy. Plus, he rides a sweet motorcycle. If I become number one, will you do it with me? Number eight, HK-47. HK-47 is literally a killing machine. Even his name is derived from the infamous assault rifle. But instead of the emotionless robotic persona adopted by so many assassins on this list, HK-47 takes a childlike glee in killing. To him, people, whom he calls meatbags, are simply things that are not yet dead. Like all great assassins, he only kills on orders, so his disappointment in not being allowed to murder makes for some classic dialogue. It's too bad we don't get to see more of his handiwork on screen, but this death-obsessed droid has earned a spot in our meatbag hearts. Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, Master. While you are a meatbag, I suppose I should not call you such. Number 7. Garcian Smith. Through the events of the game, the Killer7 organization takes down informants, terrorists, spies, and an entire league of rival assassins. You rarely control Garcian Smith during missions, but he always carries a six-hour P-23 and a large black case. Mysteriously, he also has the ability to revive other members of the organization if they've been killed. When the game nears its end and you find out what's actually in the case, you'll understand Garcian's true identity and learn just how capable this complex killer really is. Number 6. Corvo Atano. Corvo didn't start his career as an assassin, but rather Lord Protector of Empress Caldwin. It was only when he was framed for her murder and thrown into Coldridge Prison that his elegant killing spree began. His arsenal of ranged melee weapons and traps are heightened by supernatural abilities, which he uses for ultra-speedy stealth. Instead of assassinating low-level street thugs and wannabe crime bosses, Corvo targets high society, aristocrats, members of parliament, and lords associated with the corrupt Lord Regent himself. From the crowded masquerade balls to heavily guarded fortresses, you'd better hope you're not his target. Killing me won't solve anything! Number 5. Thane Krios. Don't mistake me for a common soldier. I act alone. I act without mercy. I bring death to those who deserve it. And occasionally, to those who do not. Thane knows how to make an entrance. The first time we see him in the Mass Effect series, he's demonstrating exactly how he got the reputation of the galaxy's best hired killer. He's quiet, smart, and deadly. But instead of a long-distance sniper rifle or bomb, Thane does his killing up close. It's an oddly personal style for an assassination, one that's almost gentle and ends with a prayer. He's an alien who brings a very human touch to the cold world of contract killing. I was chosen for this mission because killing is an art. And I am a master. Number four, Yurt, the Silent Chief. 
Yurt is one of the most treacherous killers, set loose by your own intentions. When you first find him locked in a cage in the Tower of Latria, it seems natural to free him as many helpful denizens in the Kingdom of Boletaria are also found in such predicaments. But rescuing Yurt doesn't yield rewards, instead it puts you in the Yurt Locker. You see, Yurt is on a mission, bent to exterminate the remaining humans. That means he'll kill helpful NPCs in the Nexus before turning his sights on you. The good news? You can always kill Yurt first and don his gloom armor yourself, supplanting him as the chief assassin of Mephistopheles. Number 3. Rikimaru Get away! Help me, somebody! Your bodyguards are dead. And you are next. One of the oldest assassins of the bunch, in-game and out, Rukimaru began spilling blood ages before sniper rifles or night vision. Flanked by the resourceful but less experienced Ayame, the star of Tenchu Stealth Assassins was ziplining across rooftops a decade before Batman finally got his act together. While some of the Grim Reapers we selected for this list get in fights in and out of the darkness, Rukimaru mostly keeps to the shadows, hopping through each temple and dojo, leaving piles of guards and fellow ninjas in his wake. Number 2. Ezio Auditore <laughs> Ezio Auditore. Brave of you to stand alone against me, but also quite foolish. Assassin. To us, Ezio Auditore di Firenze is the flagship assassin of the Assassin's Creed franchise, and in the interest of variety, he represents the entire series at number 2. A lover, a fighter, a scholar, a traveler, and no stranger to famous faces, Ezio went beyond being a triple threat. The variety of ways in which his targets could meet their end sometimes bordered on excessive, but always impressive, from using an enemy's weapon against him to silent kills in passing. He became a master of his craft whose actions and words resonated across many lands. Number 1. Agent 47. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh, that sorry ass dickhead. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> oh. Agent 47 is regarded as the most skilled assassin in the world for a reason. He's an especially versatile killer, one that's just as effective with simple fiber wire as he is with a gun. Regardless of what the mission requires, 47 always gets the job done, even if it means getting a little loud. And unlike most of the assassins on this list, taking people out is pretty much his persistent mission objective. The man can seemingly take on an entire army with his signature silver ballers alone. Above all, Agent 47 has style, carrying himself with a level of detached professionalism that all other assassins should strive for. 